What's up guys, it's your boy White Dasku and today I am bringing you the review of the Corsair Harpoon RBG Wireless Mouse and I'm going to be going over the pros and the cons of this mouse basically giving you guys my experience using this because I've had this since 2020 of October and I've had my ups and downs with the mouse and I want to just you know basically give you my experience on this mouse to either recommend this mouse to you or not recommend this mouse to you. Let's get started. All right, so the Corsair Harpoon RBG wireless mouse has been out for a little bit now. And I got this back in 2020 of October. Uh, this is when I was just getting a headset that I had that the review on. I also had a mouse. I kind of like avoided doing a review on it because at the time I was having some serious uh, USB issues with the mouse. Now those issues are resolved, but it had to come to me disabling the USB drive itself. But I'll get into that later in the video. So I'm gonna start off with the specs of this mouse. So this mouse is a 2.4 gigahertz substrate wireless Bluetooth mouse so basically uh, what that means is that it comes with a little Bluetooth chip or you know a USB chip and you put it into your computer and basically use it as a wireless mouse it also has a wired mode to where you can use the wire itself to just you know use the mouse and have it function it is very lightweight because I've, I've used other mouses before and this one has been one of the lightest I've ever used so if you guys do like light mouses this may be the mouse for you the rgb lighting is actually quite good but i have some issues with it that i will be mentioning in the cons later in this video it also has a comfort conjure design so basically what it's talking about is the design of the mouse is very curvy but it also has a little bit of grip to it and i gotta say it does live up to its name it's actually a very good mouse in design and feel i will not uh, bash it for that that is true so now we talked about the specs, it's time to get into the pros and cons of this mouse. So basically, this mouse, this mouse right here, yes, this mouse. I've literally had it for a couple of months now, and even when I first got it, the first three months I've had this mouse, let me tell you the cons first, because I'm going to be, I, I feel like I should talk about the bad stuff first, then, then the good stuff, you know what I mean? So. The bad stuff first. When I first had this mouse, like three months into 2020, Lord, I've been having some very bad issues with it. So basically, the first thing I was talking about earlier, the uh, USB drive issue. So basically, um, this right here, I'm gonna plug in from my computer because I'm not using it. I just have it plugged in for the video. But um, this little thing right here, this little USB chip right here, I call it a chip because, you know, that's just what I call it. But this little chip right here, has caused me so much issue in the first three months of me using this. Now, basically what happened was when this was plugged into the computer, like the chip, it would cause some, some it basically caused my computer to malfunction. I know that it's really hard to believe and no, I can't re redo that whole experience for you because I don't want to relive it. Um, but basically it was causing my computer to have some serious USB issues and I tried to unplug it and plug it into a different port, same response. So I'm like, okay, this, this thing won't work anymore. So you're probably wondering how was it plugged in now then? Okay, I can plug it in now because I've literally disabled this little chip right here. So I can't use the wireless feature of this mouse. Unfortunately, I only use it wired, but hey, when you're gaming, uh, I mean, you want to have the wired version because I feel like the connection off of a Bluetooth mouse isn't as strong as wired. So that's why that's not, you know, not, that's not really a big deal for me. So, um, yeah, that's basically what happened. I had to disable it because it was literally malfunctioning, make my computer malfunction overall. And this, this issue right here, I tried reaching out to Corsair and they have no idea why that happened. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. You guys can probably help me out with this. I can probably use the Bluetooth wireless part because I do like it. But like I said, for gaming, if you're very serious into gaming like I am, you might want to go with the wired version instead of the wireless version because, yeah, because I, I don't trust Bluetooth all that much when it comes to gaming, seriously. So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the first con. The second con would have to be the RBG light. This mouse, it uses a software called IQ. Hopefully, I'm... I hope I'm saying it right. 
I know everyone has their own way of spelling words. This is my way of spelling it. But basically, it uses a software called IQ, and you have to download it onto your computer. And what this does is that you can change the settings on any Corsair product you have. It's kind of like how uh, Razer and SteelSeries has their own a little software for their gadgets. Same thing for Corsair, they use IQ. I use it for my gaming headset, uh, the, the Corsair one that I had, and I use this software right here. But here's the thing. I also use Dragon Center from MSI onto my PC that I have behind me. And what this does, it will sometimes link my mouse to it so the colors would, I don't know, it would just get randomized just like this when the color right now is supposed, supposed to be white, but it's like multicolored. I guess it's copying the PC behind me since I have it multicolored on the PC right now, but I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like, it's not much of a big deal. It's not much of a deal breaker, but it is very, it's, it's nothing that I like to be real. I want to have control of my mouse, not have it being controlled through my control, control center of my PC, you know? But yeah, yeah, that's 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 that. And the third con I would say I have is just the mappable buttons. Now the mappable buttons, it's good, but it just doesn't work uh, for everything. There's like a feature that I really want to put on the mappable buttons, and that'll be screenshotting. Because let's say that I am doing a video, a gaming video, through my computer. I want to take a picture. I want to use the button so I can do that. Probably this is like another minor thing that's just me, but if you guys are big into remapping your buttons to do what you want it to do, yeah, that's, that's why I list it as a con. But those are my three cons for the Corsair Harpoon RBG wireless mouse. Now I'm going to the pros. So the pros of this mouse, obviously the design. Design, it's, it's, it's the best mouse design I've ever seen. Uh, it's very light. I just love it a lot. And this is just falling into the design portion of it. I like it because the grip is actually very, very good. I can control the mouse easily for literally everything that I've used it for, uh, except for that time when the you know USB thing was messing up. But when I'm using it a wire, it works just fine. I like it. It's a good mouse. Now for the second pro, I would say the uh, option uh, for the DPI. So uh, for the DPI, I like how I can just switch up the DPI. I know every mouse can probably do that, but for this one right here, I've noticed that uh, it's different from the one I had before because I just keep at the standard uh, DPI and it's perfect for what I'm trying to do when I'm gaming, play some COD, Fortnite, Whatever I'm playing, I just use that setting on there. And the last pro will have to be the wired version of it. So basically, <laughs> I know this is gonna be so basic, but the wired version is my favorite version of the mouse. Because like I said before, wireless, you never know. It might not be the strongest signal. It can be, who knows, you could probably have the same USB issues as I had, or you know, it could be, it could be random. Your technology is, is amazing, but at the same time, it could be very random at times. And that's what this thing kind of was for me. It was a random experience. There's some good, and there's some bad. And the bad is what worried me the most about this mouse. But I still have it to this day, as you guys can see in 2021, because you're watching this video in 2021. And it's still a good mouse. Uh, am I gonna get a new one? Uh, possibly soon, yes. I'm probably gonna get a mouse to match my uh, all customs keyboard. Also, you guys can go use a code white desk you at all customs. Shameless plug right there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give me an all customs mouse to match my keyboard. So this mouse right here uh, will basically be, you know, put out of commission or I could just give it away. Let, let me know. Uh, if you guys don't mind the little USB issue, let me know in the comments below. Should I do a giveaway on this mouse? Let me know in the comments. All right guys, that should be all for this video. I just want to say right quick, I, I want to just thank all of you for all the support recently. Like we literally, we just keep growing just like that. And if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you hit the three affiliate links down below. It helps the channel. Peace.